Good morning, guys, and welcome to Banjo Engineering 102. And I say 102 because we are revisiting the Gatling gun. As you uh, know before, the Gatling gun did not aim. It just sat here and spun around, shot, kind of bounced around a little bit, as you see. But it didn't, it didn't shoot that little ball there, that soccer ball. What, what if I want to hit that? Well, I have a solution. Um, I went back this morning and came up with a aimable version of my Gatling gun, and that's uh, this here. It looks a little bit different. The barrel's a little bit shorter. I'm obviously having parts or issues with the uh, the parts limit, so we'll go here and we'll see that now. Let me get to spinning here. Now I can shoot that ball if I can aim properly. Let's get there. We go. There we go. Get it. So we can <laughs> spin around and shoot wherever we want. Right? So go left, go right, and uh, and the barrel's still spinning the whole time. And uh, you can go ahead and shoot all kinds of stuff all over the place. Not, it has issues. Can't really aim up and down, obviously. Like the weight getting thrown around causes it to aim up a little bit. Um, Hit that soccer ball again, um, but uh, yeah. So we can aim left and right now. We can spin all our, all the way around 360, and we do this with uh, wheels and propellers. Uh, jets obviously work much much better, but I don't have jets. We're only still in logbox uh, 720. We we only have maybe 15, 16 jiggies or something like that. We don't have very many. And even with all that, with, even with that against us, you know, we're able to come up with something pretty neat, you know, pretty pretty complex for for uh, for where we are in the game anyway. And uh, so let's go ahead and select my my whole um, thing here, and you'll see that we have fuel, and we have power, and we have wheels, and we have the propellers. The the, the body parts aren't super important. Um, they help space the small propellers away from the from the center, and uh, help it move a little bit easier. the The main thing here is that you'll notice that the wheels aren't moving. They're not doing anything. They're not spinning. They're not rotate. Ah, excuse me. They're not rotating. They're not doing anything. And the reason why is because I've set them to free wheeling, and free wheeling allows them to pretty much do whatever. Whatever. They kind of act a little bit like bumpers, really, but they have a, a some linearity to them and uh, and that helps so that if I want to go left and right they can easily do that but they don't go towards the center or out they go left and right and that is it and it's up to the input from the propellers the propellers though we have set to push and the reason why is because when I hold the right trigger I want everything to go in this direction I want to go to clockwise and then left trigger we want it to go the other way if these were set to pull or automatic it would work just a little bit differently um, obviously with pull it would do the reverse where I hit right trigger and everything would go counterclockwise and we don't want that so because all I have are four small engines and one medium engine that's all I was able to put in uh, obviously the more power you have the faster it'd be able to rotate and it, you even get to a point where it rotates too fast and the whole thing kind of like kind of flies off you know kind of out of control a little bit I mean it still works but you know you don't want to jostle around too much there's, there's a, a delicate um, uh, nature to this whole thing but really that's all there is to it to be able to make it spin this one section is all there is to it we added new to some more tow bars obviously uh, we wouldn't be able to pivot or rotate without them so we have our tow bars up here to get the rotating barrel and we have tow, tow bars down here to be able to get it to spin left and right and later when we get more tow bars more tow bars we'll be able to get it to aim up and down but uh, that will be an episode for another day Gatling Gun Banjo Engineering 103 uh, to be uh, release date to be determined but um, and that's it that's all there is so we'll go ahead and put grab this this and put it back in um, not that it really matters uh, but uh, let's go ahead and see real quick if we can uh, Re make a new vehicle and they get it to work just the same. So we're gonna get the get a base here, body, light, cube, 
and we'll go uh, two, three, let's see. I'll make sure that this will be the center. So let's three out, three this way, and like so. We want to make sure that the wheels have plenty of space to be able to um, to do their thing on. If there's not enough, they'll slip off and and you won't be able to rotate anymore. So let's go ahead and fill this in. It's taking forever. Um, but I know that because of the, the placement of the um, the tow bars, there's gonna be one here and one here that we'll need to put uh, some blocks here, 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 and now they're shoveling right outside my door. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Um, we get rid of that one, and we can go ahead and put our our tow bars in. So tow bar here, here. And we'll get uh, some, no, not that. We need power, power. There we are. Engines, small. And we'll put them here, here. And then we'll have fuel, small, here and here. And then, nope, 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 nope. We want them like this. There we go, because we have to, we have some wheels to place. So we'll go ahead and get wheels. Wheels. Standard. It doesn't I don't think it really matters when you have it on freewheeling. Um uh, which one you use. And we have a real tight knit um you know uh, cluster here of, of wheels, but that's not, um, that shouldn't matter too much. You you can get too far out I I think. As long as it's in a square you'll be all right. Free wheeling. Obviously the tighter the the the, the grouping, the fat like the faster it spins, the, the less that they just have to travel. And then we'll need a block in the middle. And let's go ahead and get our propellers and that will finish things up. So I want to put this here one here and then we'll connect them with some body parts and this should if I've done everything correctly should work once I change these two was, was it push yeah push and push and of course banjo cannot go on it so we'll go ahead and get seats standard and he can't it things get really weird if he's put up here it doesn't work properly so for now we'll put him off to the side and we'll see how this works we spin right we spin left and it spins very quickly obviously with even with the, just the two so we <laughs> see it spinning left and right and I'm sure there's all kinds of fun things you guys can do with this but um, but yeah that's all there is to it Let's uh let's see real quick what happens if we put bumpers instead of wheels. Let's just see. It's not anything to do with uh, this episode, but let's see what happens. Just for fun. Okay, bumper here, here, here. We have, heck, we can have bumpers all over. The whole thing could be bumpers, because really the main thing is that the propellers are uh, positioned in opposite directions, and that we have something to help cushion against those. Um, uh, against the body parts, but I like to use wheels. Let's see here. Ba body, body. Cube. Um, here, 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 and here. Let's see. Let's see how this works. It spins much slower. Much, much slower. So wheels are very nice for that, but you can see it's not as out of control, though. So you get more control out of the bumpers then you do uh, more stability out of the bumpers than you do out of wheels, but the wheels get much, uh, they're much more efficient, they're much um, freer, they're, they're, they are not much freer, but they are freer in that uh, they spin easier, they have, because they can rotate, they able, they're able to move around on the platform much easier than, uh, than the bumpers, if that makes, if that makes sense, if you guys get that. But both work. Both uh, definitely cushion parts against others, and, and otherwise this thing would be flopping all over the place. So 
uh, bumpers and wheels now we see can be used with tow bars to create interesting uh, mechanics within your vehicles. Um, next time on Banjo Engineering, it will be another 101, but I'm going to talk a little bit more about how to use uh, wheels in conjunction with uh, static parts. Static meaning not, not moving parts. And, uh, and it can even make them move or make other things move. It would be it's pretty interesting. I'm thinking I'm going to make an elevator. So that should be fun. And uh, yeah, so this, ep this concludes the Banjo engineering 102 of our our little Gatling gun here and I, I hope you guys liked it if you did please be sure to like and subscribe and share if you feel so inclined and I, I really I appreciate your guys' comments I really do uh, quick real quick I'm gonna go to the comments here and I want to make a shout out to rewind 48 he says dude my new favorite series please please keep this going I intend to for as long as I can. Uh, if you guys have any ideas or suggestions about different mechanics you'd like to see or that you were um, you will want to share, please you know send me more uh, more comments and uh, and and even send me, you know hit me up in my inbox. Um, anyway, shout out also to uh, the Jackhammer 2010. I wish I was this smart. It's 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 not that I'm smart. You know, it's just you know the things that I've figured out along the way or that other people have shown me. And I want to share with you guys. You know, you you can do it. You know, don't 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 doubt yourself. Rock on Gundams. You ought to do more. Uh, do some stuff with uh, combination vehicles. I'm not entirely sure what you mean combination vehicles, but I think this would constitute, seeing as it has a various uh, mechanics, both two various mechanics uh, at, at play at the same time. Um, Banana Master 46. I once made one of these, except I only made one ring thing and I used wheels instead of bumpers and it spun via jets. Well this is this is exactly what I'm talking about. We're using bumpers or wheels instead of bumpers and uh, instead of jets I'm using propellers because I don't have jets. But also it's able to move uh, the the whole Gatling gun while it's also also spinning. So we're getting both of those going at the same time. Um, Smorg Smorg one thirty seven uh, he says, I remember spending countless hours watching the old videos and trying to replicate your vehicles. I came close-ish at some times and sometimes I didn't, but it was fun anyway. I'm glad you have fun with the old videos and uh, hopefully you're having fun with the new ones. And I, I really appreciate you guys' comments and your support. It really means a lot to me. Um, and then also, uh, last but not least, we have John Voslos. Um, not sure if I'm probably butchering that, but he says do a hyperdrive. I've actually never made a hyperdrive. I've done lots of things, but a hyperdrive is not one of them. I'll have to look into that, and I will definitely share it with you guys once I uh, once I make one. So um, we'll have to we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but anyway, as I said <laughs> already, this is a long goodbye. I'm terrible about long goodbyes, but you guys you guys have a good day, and I will see you next time.